you down and trouble. He's a loving care and nothing, no, nothing is going right. Mm, close your eyes and think of me. So I will be there. To brighten up even darkest night. Boom, boom. You just call. Y'all go to rest. Good morning, good afternoon, family. I'm back at you again, as my brother Sarah said, with this real effing talk. How y'all doing this morning? Well, I'm doing right nicely. I can't complain. And if I did, would it really matter? No excuse. Make it happen. Do it. I want to say hello to all of my listeners and subscribers. Um, Hoping to be shipping. Um, God. Well, we won't talk about that right now. Y'all know how I do. I just let it go. But some things are, some things are silent. Better left said unsaid. Anyway, I want to first of all say, uh, before I even get started, um, I don't know if I should do a a, a video. Oh, why don't I do? Why don't we just put it like this? Charles Barkley and Brett Favre, two people that I used to rever and I used to really kind of like a little bit. I think I kind of stopped. I wasn't feeling Brett Favre anymore when he tried to. Um, he really tried to stop Sterling Sharp from getting his money when they when he paid for Packers. He made some comment where he came out that was really crazy. Like, who is this guy? But you know, then you consider the source. The guy's from Mississippi. Um, he's you know most of the white guys I meet from Mississippi have a mindset, and I'm not saying all. Oh, some but all, some but not all, have a mindset that black people are underneath them in slavery only because they bullied us around for so long. Um, and so they got this in mindset that they're better than us and we're scared of them. And all. Well, they've only ruled us by fear, right? So when I look at some of these articles, The articles that Brett Favre has said, and he says some of the most racist stuff when people put up with him when he was a dope head, if if he probably still is, and no disrespect to anybody. Um, when he was a pill popper, when he was all those things negative, um, you had black people still campaigning for him, thinking he was an underdog, right? Now, it's bad enough that he didn't already told you he vote for Trump. So you know where his head is at. Don't surprise me. But then when he came out and said that he don't think that Chauvin meant to do what he did to George Floyd, how dare you, Brett Favre? How dare you show your, as my grandmama used to say, show your behind. Show your ugly, stanking tail to the world. Of who you are. So now you and your sidekick. Now I'm going to go with him. Uh, Him and Herschel Walker. To me. And Candace Owens. All should make a gumbo. Of trash. Charles Barkley. Herschel Walker. And Candace Owens. I've never seen anybody that want to please white people so much. Um, just that that is pathetic and it's sick. And it's sample behavior. A lot of y'all want to say Uncle Tom. It's not Uncle Tom. It's Sambo. Uh, and unfortunately, I have to be the one to say it because Charles Barkley is my age. 
Okay, so I don't have to pull no punches with him. Charles Barkley, you already know. You a Sambo. You from Alabama. You know how you grew up. You grew up in the 60s. And your grandmama tried to show you the way, but you really, probably, them probably the only black women you like. <laughs> and you uncomfortable in the setting full of black folks because we've seen your wife. And for you to call anybody a bulldog and your daughter look just like you. So um, I know you're happy that she just got married and she married um, somebody outside of your race. So that makes you feel like you got a pass. You're a dumb Sambo. And I'm saying it just like you just said, the women of Georgia look like bulldogs and the women of San Antonio are horrible. Charles, you're not a catch. Don't nobody want you. It, it, you're a pig as far as most people are concerned. Black women, especially. So if that's the reason why you said that, then I understand. So I hope this video gets to you. Cause I could care less. You know, I'm, I'm at the point now, if I can't speak unhypocritically, then I shouldn't even be speaking at all. I'm tired of you bootlickers. I'm tired of a whole country built on narcissism sickness, racism, um, and nobody can't put mental illness in the same breath as racism because then y'all want to make them separate. Um, no, I'm not saying that every person that's mental Ill, mentally ill and have mental problems are racist. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying the deep seated hatred of another person for no apparent reason other than the color of their skin and they've never done nothing to you is simply insanity it's psychotic okay and so when and then when you see black men and women buying into a game that is psychotic to prove to somebody else that I'm just as good or I you can use me or I'll be the one it makes you know just how, it lets you know just how deep rooted and sad the head of the snake of white supremacy really is. Because you have people disowning themselves. You have people running all outside of their race. They want to do anything, be black. And I know how that feels because I got people in my family like that. It's a hard pill to swallow. It, it, it really is. And for those of us uh, who know what I'm talking about, um, it's one thing when you fall in love with somebody. You just, you know, and they happen to be white. And when you go out of your way to find somebody of a different color, out of your way, because you feel that that's going to make you more legitimate, more validated, any of those things. It, it's a sad commentary. So for Brett Favre, I want to say, I'm glad that, again, that you showed your tail. Um, and I hope that most people see it. Because uh, just like Lil Wayne, that y'all belong together. Okay, you're a racist. I don't care how good of a football player that you were, you're a racist. And I'm calling you out on it. How dare you say something so ignorant? How dare you when a man was looking in the camera, looking, squeezing his knee in somebody's neck and you had the audacity to insult us like that. But that's how you insulted Sterling. And I knew if he hadn't played on the same team with you, he would have really had some, well, I don't want to get into that. But I remember that. Y'all played right here in Wisconsin. Okay, so I, I remember that. You were a jerk then and you're a jerk now. You're even worse of a jerk now because the CTE is starting to sit in. So with that being said, Charles Barkley, Herschel Walker, Brett Favre, and Candace Owens, you guys are out to lunch. And how about you devolve yourselves with your hatred for yourself and for other people? I'm done, y'all. I'll see you in the next video.